Welcome to the IBU official press conference after the immense uh, pursuit here in Hochfilzen, and we have the winner with us, Sturla holm Legret of Norway. Sturla, your second win in a row, and not many athletes um, can defend their first place, can keep this first place. Did you expect this uh, competition from yourself, and how does it feel? I didn't expect to be on top today as well, uh, but I had a good uh, gap uh, from the sprint, so I knew that there were possibilities for a podium. Uh, and uh, I had a good tactic with my teammate Dale today to help each other out in the first loop. So we yeah, we managed to save some energy and uh, help each other out. And uh, then it was just to focus on the shooting. Uh, and of course, the last shooting was uh, quite a nerve wrack, but uh, I managed to clean and then uh, it was enough for a win. Uh, the final shooting was really, uh, really important for you. Uh, but when you came and you knew you had some gap, uh, what were going through your mind? Because uh, you said you were nervous, but it seemed like you were really, really confident and you should really fast. Yeah, I um, I eased up on the pace <coughs> way back uh, before the range, so I had good legs to stand on. And I also, of course, I was thinking that if I clean, then, <laughs> then I will win. But I just, uh, I had just to lay these thoughts behind me and uh, work one shot at a time. And uh, I think the pace, uh, the the reason why it was so fast because I didn't want to have any time to think. So it was just, you know, execute and uh, it was enough for five good sheets today. And what were your thoughts when you closed the final target? Did you realize it's going to be a win? It was, uh, I didn't realize it because <laughs> I was uh, very, really tired today. My shape was not uh, as good as in the sprint, but still good. Um, But I knew that my last loops uh, are my weakness and uh, the other guys were around 20 seconds behind. So I knew I couldn't ease up anything and uh, had to fight all the way on the last loop. Uh, starting today the competition with number one, were you nervous? Uh, what was your uh, tactics for today's competition? And um, you knew you had really strong guys behind you. So how did you try to manage, uh, how did you try to keep yourself um, in, in the best shape? Yeah. Of course, I was uh, nervous before the competition, but uh, I managed to keep the intensity of the nervousness uh, on a manageable level. And uh, uh, I knew that I had d done two quite good pursuits uh, earlier in the World Cup. And uh, so my tactic was just to do the same uh, as I did then, even though now I'm starting first. Uh, and it was to go all out in the beginning and hopefully it'll be, uh, hopefully it will last till the end. So yeah, it was my tactic today. After this great competition, now you have a blue bib and tomorrow you will start in it. How does it feel and what does it mean for you? Ah, the blue bib is really cool, so <laughs> I will enjoy it. Like Samuelsson has uh, borrowed it now for some races and uh, now it's my turn to take it. So yeah, it will be a great duel to be in this fight for the blue bib. Now with blue bib, do you dare looking at the total score? Oh, I don't want to look any further than that. Let's take it one season at a time, maybe next year or the, the year after. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Second place with us, we have Emilian Jacquelin of France. Emilian, perfect competition from you today. Uh, what does it mean to reach the podium again and be in a good form? Ah, so great. Uh, it's my second podium this year. The second in pursuit I like. I really love this race. and. Uh, It's always the same feeling. Uh, I, I feel myself in pursuit. Uh, I just want to to have fun, to try to attack, to shoot fast, to shoot well. And uh, it's it's e sorry, it's easier for me to to make it in the pursuit than in, in sprint, for example. But what does it make so special in pursuit? Because really, you had 20 out of 20 in your first pursuit. You had podium. Uh, now you also were perfect. Uh, why are you so maybe? we can say calm during these competitions and uh, what's not working well in sprints? Um, I think I I don't come uh, at the start with the same uh, spirit in pursuit. Uh, I'm not afraid of anybody. I just want to be myself and uh, to push hard. And uh, in sprint, it's like um, I'm a little bit afraid about the Uh, the results, and so I think I, I'm not so 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 feel free uh, in sprint. Uh, it's quite harder than uh, last year. Last year, I think nobody expect me, so it was easier for me to at, at every races do it my my best and try to to be on the podium. But this year, uh, you know, maybe with uh, more expectation. Uh, it was harder for me in Controlarti and now it's uh, getting easier to, to feel myself. 
Um, you were starting uh, pursuit today with number eight. Uh, did it um, give you um, any confidence that you can battle uh, for the um, podium, or like how did you approach today's competition despite knowing that you're a little bit uh, behind the guys? Uh, I don't know. I, I fought with uh, the pretty strong Norway team in the sprint. It would be pretty hard to to try to to go on the podium today, but. Uh, As I said, I was just only focused on my shooting and try to, to ski as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, maybe it's, it looks like maybe easier to, to, um, to talk about pursuit for me than a sprint or, or relay. <laughs> That's the, the biggest bad point uh, of this year for me. And uh, yeah, I have to, to check why what is the, the problem in really now if I want to, to be good for the team. You mentioned relay. How was it important for you to recover after this not the best relay today with four zeros? Yeah, two times it was not the best relay. It was the, the worst relay of my life. But uh, I don't know. I think I, I love too much uh, race with the guys. You know, uh, I, I love cycling and uh, I think I, I have too much this... Uh, this kind of mentality, do the job for the guys, uh, be good for the guys, and uh, maybe I'm too stressed in, uh, in relay. And uh, I'm, I'm afraid to, to make bad race when I make a relay. And uh, when I, I make a push rate or, or a sprint, it's just about myself. So I think if you want to win, you have to accept to lose. And in push rate, I'm not able uh, at this moment to, to accept to lose. Going back to pursuit, uh, can you tell a little bit about the final lap and about your tactics when you were battling with uh, Johannes? And do you think that somehow experience from the uh, world champs in Anholz help you here? Mm, I don't know. Uh, after the, the shooting range, I saw there is only three seconds uh, behind uh, Johannes and I. And uh, I knew that uh, he will come back <laughs> really fast. So it was uh, like this. And... Uh, Yeah, I try with uh, Martin to, to slow down and uh, just have more power. And um, I know that uh, for the 50 last meters, I'm not the, the fast, fastest guy. Uh, I think I'm not a, a sprinter, but uh, just to attack like this during uh, maybe uh, 20 seconds, I am able to, to have a really high speed. So. Like uh, last year, uh, I knew that uh, I had to attack uh, in the last climb if I wanted to, to finish second. And you managed doing that. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And third place was us, Johannes Tinesbo of Norway. Um, Johannes, you kept coming today after every miss you had. So how satisfied are you with your fighting spirit? Ah, it was good. Um, Pursuit can always change from the start to the finish and uh, for me it changed uh, in the first prone but I managed to do 14 or 15 in the last uh, last three ones uh, so uh, in total I think I would have a problem to beat uh, Sturla anyway and uh, with the sprint with Chaclet I was I was not so close but uh, enough to hit the podium so it it was another good uh, good day. Leaving the final uh, shooting, did you expect or did you know that you're going to be on the podium and that you're going to battle for this podium place again? <laughs> nah, my tactic was to shoot clean and uh, hopefully be together with one more uh, to be able to, uh, to be on the podium. Uh, but we were uh, four guys and uh, then <laughs> it's maybe the three guys I would uh, choose the last uh, <laughs> in the whole field. <laughs> Uh, so I was quite impressed that I could beat uh, two of them actually because I'm not the best in the in the final um, loop. Uh, my strength at biathlete is the whole racing from start to finish. And but today it looked uh, quite good, and I was not so far away from second, even though there was no chance. But did you expect that Emilian would uh, attack so fast and so early in the last loop? Yes, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Uh, and uh, do you think that um, you will try to attack early in similar situations in in, uh, in upcoming uh, competitions, or it's? Yeah, maybe uh, it depends a little bit uh, who I'm with, uh, how strong I feel. Uh, it's quite uh, easy track to stay 
in the back. Uh, uh, so if you start too early, uh, you could lose it uh, because the others save power. So it's not so easy to uh, do the tactics. It's different tr track here in Hockfields and then in maybe Oberhof where it's a steep uphill right after the shooting. Uh, there you can start from immediately after, but here it's like 500 meters downhill and even though you ski fast, you will be together in the last, <laughs> last hill. Uh, you mentioned that you're pretty good in the whole competition in general and your skiing is really, really good. Um, any adjustments before tomorrow's must start or you will just go the way <laughs> you do today? Uh, no, I think... Uh, there are so many good shooters now in the World Cup, so uh, if I want to be a part of the podium tomorrow, I need to shoot uh, clean, I think. Uh, but if I go clean, I would uh, fight hard to win. Um, having four weeks of competition in a row, it's probably pretty hard. And knowing that now just a few days away from going home, how tough is it mentally to come out to the track and battle every time? Ah, it's not so tough. Um, in uh, it's more tough um, yeah before the first four weeks and and in between the world cups the days you are waiting to start uh, the first race of the weekend it's the most intensive ones and always after the first race in the weekend you can lower your shoulders and it's still it's just so much fun to compete and this is what I feel that even though you lose some race uh, or you can be in the podium another, it's still fun all the time, and that's why we like to be on the on tour and on the World Cup, and and we also look forward to to get back home. But you always think of the race, and suddenly we uh, it's Monday, and then we are home uh, at two o'clock in Oslo. So the Christmas will come fast enough. Uh, now we have to th think about biathlon. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks.